my gosh, it's our first ever getting younger after party. Yeah. You guys, thank you. I, I'm so excited I'm here. I'm Taylor Strecker, and I am here with almost the entire cast of Younger. Peter is being like dad of the year. Mm -hmm. He's at his son's birthday party, so we will talk a lot behind his back. Yes. Okay, yeah. perfect. That's what I want. You guys, we are at the historic Gray Bar building here in New York City at their flight deck, and uh, we have a fantastic show for you. Again, I'm Taylor Strecker. Thrilled to be here. You guys, I have to tell you, the reason we're here is because of you, the fans. You guys want to more Younger? So we gave it to you. So, uh, guys, the biggest part of this is that we're on Facebook Live, which means you can literally directly talk to your favorite cast and your favorite show, Younger. Um, I want you to please leave comments, questions. You can uh, propose to Nico in the comment section below. I'm, I'm down. Let's do it. Wow. Well, will you accept a proposal? Well, it tonight? depends on who's asking me. Well, last I heard, you you accepted a dog on social media. I did. It wasn't a proposal, but I did accept it. <laughs> Actually, it might be more of a commitment than a proposal. <laughs> yeah. In fact, seriously. I fully got a dog on the gram. Yeah, on, on the gram. On the gram. Just quickly tell that story. Just really quickly. Yeah, so really quickly, this girl reached out to me. She had a couple dogs. She was like, I'm really spiritual. I feel like one of these dogs is your dogs. I just see you and this dog. And I was like, send me a picture of this dog. What are you talking about? Yeah. So she sends me a picture and I was like, yep, yeah, that's me. That's uh, your dog? That's, that's my dog. It, did it have a heart nose like you? She does have a heart-shaped nose. Oh my yeah, she god. she really does. Oh, you, that's too cute. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, you love to talk to your favorite younger cast members on social media. So rather than me introducing all of you guys, I actually have some of our favorite... Uh -oh. I didn't spill my drink. Some of our favorite social media comments about you guys from the fans. Oh, Genius. So I'm gonna give each of you your card okay. and you're gonna read it aloud to the audience, okay? And say their name, where they're from, the whole shebang a -lang. Let me get up. I don't want my breasts to spill out. I, I mean, I'm in the same boat girl, as you, bro. Girl, girl. We're gonna have to meet in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> so good mates. Yeah, guys, so. Oh, so good mates. Nico, let's right. start so with so you, so my friend. Yes, uh, from Harrison Cartwright. That's at H A Z A N D S T U F F. Has and stuff. <laughs> oh, man, at Younger TV is so good, mates. I'm definitely not just watching for Nico Tortorella's abs. Woo! You're oh. actually being British. Well, because I, <laughs> I read mates. Oh. She says mates. Right. Mates. Okay. It says mates, mates y'all. Yeah, hey, it so works I, for me. So I attempted to It had to, to have been. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, you're up next. Okay, this is from Amanda uh, Jacobus, I guess, and, and her handle is at Instagramanda. I actually, um, hi, I, I know you leave comments on my Instagram and I always try to respond back to you. Um, she says, your shoe game is on point. You are stunning. <laughs> Miriam. Oh, hi. Yes. Hello. Um, okay, so, uh, Miriam Short. This is from at the Keekly. Uh, Diana Trout is my spirit animal. I love hashtag Miriam Short, hashtag Diana Keekly. Okay. <laughs> Aww. Look at all the You're love, guys. Yeah, right? so much love. I love this. Normally, social media for me is a completely different experience. So I'm happy we're having well. a really good time. <laughs> really? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. People are like, uh, basic bitch, stop wearing the same outfit. What? what? I mean, they love me. What can I say? <laughs> don't, don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Okay, Sutton, you're up okay, next. From um, at TLC Yellow, uh, Sutton, uh, Sutton Foster changes my life daily, and this is not an exaggeration. <laughs> not oh, yes. <laughs> me. <laughs> Kira Dotson at Key, Key Dots. I accidentally watched the entire first season of Younger today at Hilly Depp. Will always have a special place in my heart. Aww. Aww. So, Kira, we gotta get you on the second and the third so you can get up on the board. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, and Debbie. Okay, mine is from Edward Bess. At Edward Bess, B E S S. Uh, Debbie Mazar, a girl as fab and funny as she is gorgeous. You have my heart. Yes. Uh, is that from Edward Beck? Edward. Like the Edward Beck? Yes, and you have my darling Becky with the good hair. Oh, hair girl. Yes. Oh. Hey. Wow. You know, that, that was kind of like a marriage proposal. I thought Nika was going to get it, but you yeah, got it, Debbie. Yes, he's got my heart. Oh. Oh. Can we keep these? These are so Fancy. Keep them. Oh, please keep them. It's like a Valentine's And frame them. Yeah. And look at them before you go to bed at night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you guys, uh, like I said, 
this show is for you. It's for the audience. And uh, Younger is, I mean, it's successful because you guys are incredibly talented. And the show is just funny and witty and fantastic. But it's also because the fans love you so much is why the show is so darn successful. Yeah, that's true. So we created Getting Younger. So every single week after Younger, uh, you guys have a home right here. And we're going to be having cast members on, um, celebrity fans of the show, mm. um, social media exciting. influencers. We're going to be having uh, cast uh, writers. I mean, the basically people that make the show, the magical show it is behind the scenes. And we're going to be talking about, well, obviously dissecting the show, because what would the show be without going deep into every episode? Right. Um, um, but also, we're going to be talking about your relationships, kind of like the behind-the-scenes stuff. I'm going to be going out into the streets of Manhattan to uh, get a temperature for how people are feeling about, um, I don't know, maybe like Team Josh or Team Charles, mm. or uh, maybe what Hillary did to Liza in this hey, past Kelsey, episode. Kelsey, Kelsey, Kelsey. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. 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 You guys, I'm literally, it's like having one, two, three, four. It's like having, it's, it's like, I have like, 12 children right now, because right, I have right. to know your names and your character names. Yeah. So I'm going to be switching around, okay? I apologize in advance. You can just call me something sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so we're going to start <laughs> off with the concept of uh, turmoil, actually, which is a very new idea for you guys and for the audience members. It's normally very fun, very exciting, okay. very happy. It's like unicorns and ponies and butterflies. And uh, Not for Josh. <laughs> well, okay, that's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's like okay. a torture chamber. I mean, okay, you know what? Fair enough. I was just thinking about the girls. You're yeah. right. You get you get your heart stomped on a lot actually mm -hmm. in the show. Yeah. We're gonna get to that. I All promise. Right. We can I keep promise. going. We can keep going. I but, try to get that in. But but, but, but <laughs> you guys, uh, you really, you kind of broke our hearts in this season four premiere. Mm. So uh, let's take a look at what went down. I just want to thank you for forgiving me, and for understanding that I'm I'm still the same person that you've always known. That in there was business. I don't think that I can ever forgive you. Voices in my head. So go on, get me to lose, get me to move, get me to right. Hey. Got these made today. Welcome, Grimmy. It's yeah. just, it's so much ouch. It hurts my heart. Okay. I know. So it's a one-two punch, really. I mean, first you're like, uh, Liza, I'm not forgiving you. And then you're going to move in with her ex-boyfriend. Okay, mm. first of all, Hillary, what happened when you saw this on the script? Okay, I was actually totally floored. I couldn't believe it because Kelsey is so girl code. Yes. She always is yeah. like, 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 Kelsey and Josh has, have never even had a chance at a friendship because every time he would mess up, mm -hmm. she'd be like the first to pounce on him to have her back. That's true. Mess up. Mess up. Yeah, like when you were like mad when about the engagement, which was hey, all you made your face. Or sweet. when you didn't mention. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember the blonde girl uh -huh. rap uh -huh. and, and another one? Mm -hmm. I don't recall. Remember, yes. oh, she, remember when you she didn't mention her? Remember when you didn't mention her in the Inkberg article? Oh. Because yeah. she told me not to. I didn't know that. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> mess up. So we haven't had a chance to have a friendship. And I think at this point, Kelsey is like not doing it to be spiteful, but she honestly doesn't have a place to live. So it's out of necessity. And that they understand what each other's going through. And they're both yeah. 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 They, they, about. I think she's convenient. just taking care They've of herself. They've both have been heartbroken uh, by the oh, same woman. Been lying. I've been know. lying like I'm a just, dog. I know. But I'm just saying it just seems possible. Okay, so. But I think <laughs> Josh also just like gets a piece of Liza too by having Kelsey oh, in the house. Are you using me? Are you using me for my house? <laughs> oh, yeah. Touche. Uh, Who's yeah. using me more? You asked me to move in. Because I want a piece of her to move in. Oh, oh wow. Uh oh. I feel, oh. Uh, I feel like the redheaded stepchild. Sorry. Sorry, Molly. No offense. Oh, <laughs> but you just got the shit out of the whole thing. <laughs> just a phrase. Means nothing. <laughs> You're spectacular. You're gorgeous. Sutton. <laughs> what is Liza thinking is going on with the two of them? Do you think they're hooking up? I mean, what what, what is going through Liza's mind? I think Liza right now has got her tail, you know, tail between her legs. Uh -huh. She's a little like she doesn't quite know what to do. Of course, this is not, but she also has to kind of give both of them their space, and like she's just trying to tread very lightly and delicately with both of them. But uh, I, I mean, 
I, if the two of them get together, that's... No, oh. if the two of you guys get together, bad oh. things are going to yeah. happen. I'm going to destroy my apartment. I just got really yeah. hot. Punish myself. I'm going to destroy <laughs> my apartment. <laughs> no, that, I, that, 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 when I watched it, I said, it, they better not no. hook up. Are you guys going to hook up? Why? It would look so good, it. though. It would be very Listen. attractive, and then I would look <laughs> good. No. I can't, no. I can't wait for you guys to see next episode. Because that means that they're going to hook up? <laughs> uh, the super trailer is insane, because there's a lot of blondes I with know. your hair length hooking up with you. Are they? Other people, though? Uh, you know, that is the question. I don't like any of that. Right. I'm sorry. That right. long this whole show is based on a lie. We can save the promo like art, too. <laughs> okay, I'm just, I'm, that, the more we talk about this, the more I'm getting upset. So let's move we on. Should, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. We want to destroy your apartment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? For Debbie, webcams, right? Um, Maggie is like such a bulldog for Liza. Mm -hmm. So how, what is she going to do to these two when she finds out that they're shacking up? I mean, whether it's just roommate situation or Has more. this been confirmed? Yeah. That they're living together? Yes. Yes. They're living together. yes. yes. Oh, shacking up as in under the same roof. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Got it. Yes. <laughs> I got to watch my terminology here. Got it. Not shagging up. Shacking up. Shacking. What about shagging? No. I think it breaks code a little bit. You yeah. Know? Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. But, oh. you know, to move in with your friend's ex-boyfriend a yes. little? Bumpy. Sorry, it's what a, code is there with this lie? Yeah, that's true. There is no code anymore. I, I mean, it's a lie. You just don't go near your 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 your, your, your girlfriend's ex lover unless you're trying to be spiteful and hurtful. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Even. So but, I think that I think that Maggie has one eyebrow up. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> and you know, and I'm I am protective, but I also know yes that she's gonna be okay because right. she's strong, and I know her heart. Yes. And I know that she's beautiful and that she's <laughs> single still. And right. And Charles exists. You know <laughs> and she has me. Charles. And she has me. She has you. I've never met Charles. You haven't met Charles? No, never met What would series. Maggie think of Charles? You're very, he's, he's great. But don't you think he's I a little mean, boring? I, um, <laughs> well, we know how you are. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> Team Josh up in here. <laughs> 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 Josh proposed, and I can't even get into that because I, I wept for days. Um, do you think that? Did you Maggie, destroy your apartment? <laughs> I did destroy my apartment, and then I rebuilt it. I'm gonna have to destroy it again. Excellent. This is this Just getting confirming. very costly. Got it. You're gonna have to start sending oh, the bill for repairs. Yeah. Can I bill getting younger? Yeah. yeah. I like yeah. emotional distress. Yes. Um, but do you think that she would have loved it if the two of them got married? Even though I mean, Liza was like it, barely. No, because she would have a job. Because then she'd leave my apartment. Yeah, then she'd Her, move in with him. Totally yeah, so, uh, yeah, she'd be upset. Yeah. Well, I would just I'd maybe just move in with you guys, guys too. Great. Yeah. That'd be great. She'd be poly polyamorous. Polyamorous, yeah. Fluid. Yeah, I love it. She's, oh, she's using the too. lingo here. I, I, I love it. It's so intense that he proposed to her. It's I like, know. Seeing, seeing, seeing yeah, I mean, that was ridiculous. He's got a major heart. He's a, he's a romantic. He's a renaissance. Yeah. He's yeah. like a Scotia yeah. pulses, mm. though. Big gesture. How Bella. crushing was that scene, guys, to shoot? Uh, so Who did it hurt the most, like, oh, like, in terms of, like, after the fact, the aftermath of it? Probably you and your apartment. Yeah. We <laughs> <laughs> shot, shot our breakup scene. Confession scene, it was all in the same all day. All the same day, oh, yeah. Kidding. What? That was a big day. So what, what was it like when you left set that day? Just kind of like, well, just drained, you know? Yeah. It's like, it was like a big day. Yeah. It's hard. We've broken up a few times at this point. What was the hardest breakup? This break one up? was really hard. Yeah. This one was the mm. hardest for me because we were just like, done. cold. Yeah. yeah. You know what was horrible was so for me cold. was in the, in the trailer, they teased it so many times. Was you guys running into each other on the street oh, and yeah. being like, "I'm not doing yeah. this." Yeah. That was not, really bad. I'm not yeah. hard for you. No, no, I'm kind of covering this. Oh. Up. <laughs> <laughs> it's just strategic. Show that you were I don't want to. I had a long day, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it was hard. We didn't have very many scenes. Yeah. Especially early on. Yeah, I mean, we've I've worked pretty much only with Sutton. Right. For the last three seasons, you know, and, and now for a good chunk so of this Hillary. season. And hey. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and you, yeah, but like I didn't see Sutton at all for the first. And how did that feel in your heart? It sucks. Aww. 
Yeah. It's all right. We take it so personally. This is like yeah. a really yeah. serious. We do take so it personally. With our characters and stuff. Do you guys want to know that um, my storyline that was cut from the um, first episode? Yeah. Uh, the whole storyline was cut. It was about how Diana couldn't poop in front oh of her. Oh my husband. god. Yes, uh, that's true. That was what? The best. Oh, no. It's not so there anymore. Uh, what are you talking about? Apparently, she can poop in front of her boyfriend. Yeah, no. Oh, I saw that. I saw that one. I thought that was great. I mean, pooping is the, is, is it's a milestone. I'm just trying to light. They might be doing like extended. Oh, oh, I know. I'm not sad it was cut, but I just thought that was stuff. Stuff gets cut all the time. Something that was cut that is like permanently ultra cut. Yeah. What, in season three, is it season three or two? We were in a I, I, a thruple. I was in a thruple with a, a couple. In a thruple and a cheated on that Maggie. Was that was cut. Wait, that was, that was cut. cut. Oh, yeah. But is that from season two or season three? Season three. So season much three. good stuff is cut. Yeah, we guys. were in. A, I was in a thruple and I told Maggie and she was like, "That's cheating." Really? Yeah, yeah. I definitely didn't see that. No, scene. that was cut. That whole storyline. That was a couple episodes or three. Yeah. yeah. Josh and Charles hooked up once too. No, they did not. <laughs> that was cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were just, we ran long. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> to push the boundaries. <laughs> I was pushing just a little too far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, real quick, back though to the big secret. So. Molly, huh. Lauren, if she <laughs> found out been about the secret, <laughs> yeah. what would her reaction be? Would it be like Kelsey's? Uh, no, I think Lauren's would be like, this is amazing. Beautiful. You look fantastic. Yes. That's option A. Option B, sorry writers. Option B is, um, <laughs> oh no, I've known the whole time. Mm -hmm. Right? I've known the whole time. But I think they're close enough friends, Kelsey and Lauren, that Lauren, and I don't know that Lauren can like. Can Lauren patch it up between two of them? that secret. Uh, Potentially, I don't know. I feel like it's so deeply between them. Yes, they'll stay out of it. Yes, I think that's also part of friend code. Is right. like <clears throat> they are also coworkers, mm -hmm. so they have a different level of intimacy. Can you pick sides when it comes to your friends, or do you have to stay neutral? I, I'm capable of staying neutral. I, I'm, a, I'm a side picker. Oh really? Oh yeah. You know, I've never had an inter friend group. Uh, fight. Feud or fight. Yeah, I've never had to pick sides on a friend side. Of course, I pick sides when it's like boyfriend, girlfriend, and friends with both, but right. they break up. Yeah, I can't do uh, Always my girlfriends. Always. Yeah, girlfriends. yeah. for sure. For sure. Uh, not if, it, as, if I was friends with a boy before first. the girl. Yeah. Right. Oh, That's true. Well, obviously, the friend but if they're, no, if they're my girlfriends. Yeah. And if, if they're my friend, I obviously stay, you know. Yeah. Whoever the friend is, yeah. whoever the friend. Yeah. The first friend. Whoever the first, first friend. First friend. First friend, first friend, yeah, first friend, best friend. Well, I agree. Ben wasn't there. a very good person, and the other partner was cooler. Better better. I actually want to hear you more start about sleeping this story. with the ex. <laughs> I want more details, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm not talking from experience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. okay. I, I'm just saying the what No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about Josh and Liza. Okay, guys. Well, on Facebook right now, please tell us what you think of uh, the fact that Kelsey moved in with Josh. What do you think her motives are? Um, that is she breaking girl code? Is she being a bad friend? Um, Miriam, uh -oh, what do you think? <laughs> uh -oh. Diana would do if she found out uh, Liza's secret. So I'm Worse or, or nicer than Kelsey? Uh, uh, I'm a fan too that Diana would um, similar would say, uh, oh, I know. I've always known yeah. that whatever you have to do to get ahead. Like I, whatever, Diana has worked her ass off to get ahead, and to, so so that I think she might respect what you had to do and understand right. what you had to do as a woman in the forties, and uh, and really respect how what she did to get back in the working world, and then she would be like, go get my coffee. We still do. <laughs> And what's she gonna do when she finds out that her and Charles have that? Kids? I don't know. Because <laughs> 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 the other one is one thing, and then this is the Ferris of the heart, which we know that right. they don't make a lot of sense. Yeah. But even though you're with, but but you're in love, and you can poop freely. I mean, aren't you happy? Um, yeah, love and pooping freely. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's, that's goals. Autobiography. That's love goals. And pooping freely. Totally. Okay, Bye guys, story. let's move on now to my <laughs> favorite discussion. I've been. I mean, I hung up with you guys at Sirius, and I was dying to talk about it, but I wasn't, I held it for tonight. We have to talk about hashtag Team Josh versus Team Charles. Mm. Hello! Wow. And of course, you guys, on Facebook, please, right now, this is the question. Right now, in this moment, who are you? Team Josh or Team mm. Charles? Well, uh, well team there's only Josh one of us here, so. Here. One, of them, one of them's here, the other one's not. But we're going to be taking a poll, and uh, in just we're a little gonna, bit, we're, we're going to give you the poll. official results oh, okay. from the audience the about poll. Who they want Liza to end uh, up with, but where do you guys stand yeah. from, like from, let's say, uh, an audience perspective, wow. as viewers of the show? Yeah, we're both gonna just sit here and watch well, you. Well, we think it's 
I always say both. Like, why do you have to choose? You're a modern lady. Yeah. Both. What? A what? That's never Guys, that can't be the answer. Oh, hey. Hey now. Hey now. Because she's in love with two men. Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. And I think she. It, both men represent different things that she needs in her life. And right now, it's like almost. I think she will always love Raj. Mm -hmm. Always, always, always. But yeah. Charles is this sort of unknown thing. Right. But it's like unfair to say who's the one she's supposed to be with forever. You know, right now. Sorry. Forever. So it's like and I feel like she needs to start choosing herself. Yes. Yes. Okay. Team Liza. I think, but if Team I had Liza. to be forced to pick, I'd say Team Charles. <gasps> Yeah, but hold on. Team Charles, what she said. Wow. But hold on. The wow. entire wow. relationship with Charles <laughs> is based on a lie. Not just the personal relationship, <laughs> but, but also the work relationship. But Jonathan's yeah. been explored. But, it well, but I think you make a really good <laughs> point. But, 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 yeah. In that you make a great point because they haven't. You, it, Charles is unexplored, and so you know what it is with Charles. Charles is unexplored, yeah. yeah. Yes. But I think Liza will always love Liza yeah, yeah, will always totally. love Josh because. He woke her oh, up. Yeah. Okay, that's true. He yeah. woke her up. She was sleeping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, put, she, oh, she was, was she so was, sleepy. She was sleepy, <laughs> and he woke. He kissed her and woke her up, just like cigarette, like <laughs> sleeping yeah. right. Right. But I think that she realizes that she's gonna like hold him, like not give him what she like. Honestly, I think that my reasoning for being Team Charles now is wow. less for Liza's benefits and more for Josh's because I feel so bad for her. Mm. Josh is not gonna like. Get, he's not gonna have kids with her. Right. Yeah. yeah. That, that was, was that's Liza huge. Liza makes some huge sacrifices for both of the mm -hmm. men this yeah. season. She really? Like, because she yes. knows she used and abused. <gasps> she really? <laughs> <laughs> for the sake of them, for the sake of the men in her life that she loves, she like, she makes some really yeah. big sacrifices. She does. Yeah. That's true. So, yeah. Team Charles, Team Charles, your team both. Can you I'm pick? I'm kind of team both. I mean, I, I love, I love, me, Debbie, loves the idea that she gets to be an intellectual, yes. to be an adult. They both have the kids. Oh, Josh can't. <laughs> He's an intellectual. But, I mean, I think Josh is really exciting. And He's not an adult. Hey, listen, I'm married to a guy who's eight years younger than me. So, you know, for me, I think, like, it's not really about the age mm -hmm. and, like, it's they see each other's hearts. Yes. Yeah. But um, they so just see like, each I'm other. I'm kind of on the fence. Nika, how are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> I think mean, Charles can have Liza at this but point. <laughs> this isn't Nico. Nico Josh is 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 gets kind of fun. Yeah, Josh is having a great time this season. Doing fine. He's doing yeah. okay. Oh, you're yeah, fine. yeah. But I have to say, I'm just, can I say Team Liza? Yeah, She's sure. Like a you can. In, in kind yeah. of large feminist inside of me, that's like, can it just be Team Liza? And whatever she wants, and in that moment, no, damn boys. Holly. Uh, okay, I have two answers, but not because I'm team, not because I'm both. The Sex and the City fan in me, and like the fan that like understands the formula of Sex and the City, uh -huh. is Team Charles of because course. you're supposed to. She He's ends big. up with Big. Right. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, look how that ended. But, <laughs> but nice. I but think. Big was not nice. No, Big, big was, was such not a jerk. nice. Big. So, but, but Charles is nice. Is he? But I think he represents. Is he? Is he? A He's similar. Nice. <laughs> it took him three damn years to kiss you. Ugh. <laughs> okay, okay so Molly. Finish, finish. Well, I feel like when I watch the show, I'm a team Josh. Like I just love what happens between yeah. the two of you. Yes. It's and me too. it's very the chemistry is undeniable. We've really gotten to see so much of your chemistry as actors too. Mm, that yeah. like you, when you're together, you're just rooting for you guys because mm. you're wonderful together. And I also <laughs> think part of this, if the show is called Younger, like. Pick the younger. Well, no. <laughs> pick the younger person. Pick the younger one. Pick, yeah. pick, it, pick the young person. The young but I think it's great. There's so many. The fact that then that we had dated in the first two seasons, like, that is exciting that there are intergenerational relationships mm -hmm. yes. that, that are um, help, that are kind of healthy and that they did fall in love, these two. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. I mean, and he I'm, accepted her lie and then hid it with her. They were complicit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I am Team Josh because I feel like it represents my life. Thank so if you. I was to be what? Team Charles, I would feel not gender-wise, but like yeah, no, but like my my relationship brought me back to life and it's mm -hmm. useful. And so like I have to root for you guys because yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to root for myself because I'm deeply deeply narcissistic. Yes, my well, mom that, is uh, Team Charles though, mm -hmm. but she was also Dawson <laughs> during Dawson's Creek. So my mom's a safe was fat girl. So Pacey. So Pacey. <laughs> <laughs> And give them to me all day long. <laughs> okay, guys, Pacey. don't forget uh, in the comments section below because we are dying to hear what your thoughts are, especially after hearing your thoughts. Well. Um, you guys, hashtag 
Team Charles or hashtag Team Josh and hashtag it for us. Also use the hashtag the Getting dragon. Younger that helps us to yeah. find it. And uh, leave those comments in the section below, the comment section below, right here on Facebook. Okay, so we are waiting for the polls to come in. Are they coming in? Oh my God, don't trust, don't, trust mm. don't trust the polls. <laughs> don't trust the polls. Don't trust the polls. Don't trust the polls. Hey, how's your poll? I know. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys, while we're waiting for the polls, I actually took it to the streets, okay? Oh I took it to the streets. Yeah. To so, the streets. Uh, yeah, we talked yeah. to people in New York about who they think you should end up with, Liza. What did New York say? Team Charles okay. or Team Josh? Oh my gosh. Let's find out right now. Let's take a look. Yay! Are you Team Josh or Team Charles? Ooh, it's tough. I gotta say Team Josh. I like I like Josh. I'm a, I'm a Nico person, you yeah. know? I mean, no offense to Charlie, you know, he's a more mature gentleman, but <laughs> I'll let me some Josh. Team Charles, so open, honest, enthusiastic, and he's got that smile that could just, you know, kill a bird, so I have to go with Team Charles on this one. Josh. Charles. Charles. Yeah. Why? He's cuter. He's nicer. Team Josh is my bitch. <laughs> Team Charles all the way. Why? Um, I like the cut of his jib. <laughs> Team Charles. Why? Who doesn't love an older man? Team Josh. Charles. Oh, you're, you're contrarian. He I just said, I said that, yes, right? Yes. Yes. yes there I There has know to be it. friction for the it's sex like, to work. Guys, so that looked like it, Team Charles won. Did I, did oh, I, did I see that? It, it, was was it was a tie. It was a tie? I need to get glasses or okay. LASIK. Okay. <laughs> it was a tie. It was a wow. tie. Well, we have the numbers from Facebook. Uh -oh. Are you ready? Uh oh. Okay, for Team Josh, we have 45. Mm. Oh. For Team Charles, we have 55. Mm. Oh. Oh, so America. Charles. How old he is, too. Is our winner. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wow. Nico, let's talk about your feelings on this matter. I it's really real need close. to know it's what you're thinking. Also, so close. The, also, I think that you know the viewers are probably like, well, I mean, but we've seen Josh, so now we kind of want to yeah, see what's going to happen. Yeah. 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 You know, I'm fine. Are you good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's throw up the team the team Kelsey poll and see. Oh. What we get. Okay. Well, oh, I know you're oh, fine, but I have to say you've had your heart broken a lot on the show, and yeah. this is a little heartbreaking. So, guys, right now on Facebook, if you could please leave comments for Josh on um, how okay. to recover from this emotional heartbreak. Yes. That would be really, really Or Nico. Cool. Or Nico. <laughs> Nico. And Nico, too. Yeah. And Nico, too. Aww. Okay, guys. So, a big theme of the show since season one, uh, truth and lies, basically. Yeah. So, uh, I love Christian Chenoweth in the premiere episode talking Aww. about truth is what? It's a four-letter word to mm -hmm. her? Yeah. Yes. Okay, which one do we subscribe to? Five-letter word or four-letter word? Five-letter Five. 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 word. Five-letter word. What's the difference? We know how to spell. What's the difference? One is right and the with, other is not right. Truth is before, though, is that right. truth, is, truth is amendable, you know? It's, no, it's, it's, not. it's perception. Is, look, we, no, no, oh, we all do tell white lies. Like, that's true. We do yes. tell white lies. That's human yes. nature. We, we tell them for a good reason. Sometimes we tell them to save someone's feelings. Or we, to hide the chocolate. To hide right. the chocolate. Right. Why would you hide the chocolate? You know, like, if you get one, someone does know you you had chocolate in your purse. Yes. And you Good had chocolate in your purse. Are you telling? Like, do you have chocolate? Are you like, telling no, me that I have no chocolate? When but I ask you have chocolate, you say you have chocolate. You have chocolate. Probably. But <laughs> not a white that's lie. A little white lie. <laughs> yeah. So we all do that. But but the lies, the big ones, are I you know that matter that can hurt people. Well, truth with a capital T is not. Eyelash. Thank you. Oh, it's still there. See, there's truth. That's truth. Make a wish. She could let it go. It would be no mission, which is technically a lie. True. Well, uh-uh. Yeah, you know. Uh-oh. No? No, no, no. Uh-oh. I don't know. I want you bad, please. I'm answering the question in the larger scheme of things, which is, like, truth with a capital T as in, like, truth versus truth as a truth being a five-letter word that is actually how it's spelled versus, like, lying about major things is not right. Yeah. Is age a major thing? Yes. Ooh, but I'm with you. I'm with you, Debbie. But, I don't think but it re it the recreating your identity is a right. different thing. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Lying about yes. your age is a non-issue. 
right. creating a different life. She, and she created a different life. I think life. Yeah, yeah, age casually life. is so different than like letting this go on and... For three years. But she didn't and intend but also, that. But also, right. what was and the it's environment? Been three months. years. Yeah, it's only been like three seasons. It's been yeah. like three months, let's but be honest. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what's the environment that caused her to have to lie? She I was trying right. to get a job. And she, she also had a job. She didn't intend to like no. fall in love and right. make these friendships. No, you and got like, stuck. Or she got she got wasn't she, intended. She yeah. got no. the life that right. she always wa wanted and dreamed, never even thought she could have. She was her career, a career that she never thought she would get again. Yeah. Was there an opportunity where you could have told the truth in the beginning stages of the lie and it would have been copacetic? I think and fine. she could have had an opportunity to tell Kelsey no matter what, and she was like too scared. Like, yeah. I, you know what I mean? She should have told her from the get, and Kelsey would have been like, oh, cool. Well, but I, was, you I go. think I was blinded by You were going to tell her. Yeah. Remember, you were going to tell her, and that was when Millennial happened. And That's you true. To, you were right. about to tell her, and, 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 and you you asked me to do the imprint. That's absolutely yeah. true. So it was about. And so so you, we started a but millennial. But that was a moment where you could have done it, sacrificed your career in that moment, and said and told her the truth. And there were several times where I was willing to give it all. Like right before Thad died, I was like, I don't care. Whatever you find out, it doesn't matter. Every time, right. and then something That's has right. saved and then, you. And yeah. something Every has saved me. Every same. time. Yeah. But I keep wanting to yeah. stop and give up the and ruse. Then, yeah. And then you're about to tell everybody and Kelsey's like, are you insane? Exactly, in the very first episode. Yeah. About to be like, if this, everyone, this is more, I can't Yeah, I mean, if people up. could have focused on that scene while I was wearing that oh, the hot plate. Oh my God, yeah. I actually, it, I have a like, table that, it's like a side table. Yeah, the size it is, of that, that was an end table. <laughs> <laughs> it was an end table that we just went ahead and put on. It was Every time yeah. she comes out with an outfit, I'm like, available for purchase. Someone <laughs> can buy that. Which is someone does. Well, and someone tend, does. We tend to focus on the necklaces because they're so big. Yes. And then once we have a moment to like, and we're like, whoa. That, then we realize there's, there's also earrings, earrings with like a giant, and a giant yeah. and like a, <laughs> like, you had like a doorknob <laughs> ring that was like this. Humongous. Yeah, it would be like Isn't this. It would be like, Coco this is my Chanel ring. Coco Chanel had said to, like, right. when you're done getting dressed, take one take accessory off. Yeah. I, I Diana put four more. No, she puts four more. She's like, I'm ready. <laughs> what else can I wear? Exactly. And I'm ready to go. So good. Um, also, sorry, a huge theme of the show is female friendships, obviously. Woo. So, what does girl code mean to you guys? Girl code in friendship. I think understanding one another. Like, constantly being a sounding board for your friends and trying to really understand what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Acceptance, uplifting, be yeah. the goddess, you know, have your girls back. Yep. And just getting you through a tough time, right? Yeah. Like when you have a really tough time, mm -hmm. your friends, and look, they don't always have to be female friends. You can have, your bestie can, can be whatever, the opposite sex, whatever, but, uh -huh. but just your friends can help you through a really tough time. Oh, yeah. And you need them. You and need un them. Unconditional, yeah. unconditional support. Yes. Unconditional love from friends, you think? I think so. Yeah. The, my, my closest friends, I could tell them anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And no matter how bad or how, you know, the, and they will um. understand love, or give support. And yeah. I For me, it's honesty. Honesty. Yeah. Like, and it's like, I, I think, huh. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> oh my God! Hillary, we're just unpacking. Hillary, dogs up. We are just a TV show. Laugh. <laughs> we're so much more. But yeah, honesty Ooh, is important. Honesty. I didn't even yeah. mean to link it there. I was literally just <laughs> thinking about that's what's for so me. Hard, though. I think that's also why Liza is so tortured. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. It's not like Liza is like, no. hey, this no, is the no, best no, no, thing. No. She's like tortured by it. She well, hates it. I really think that what Eric said at that panel that we did at ATX that a few of us were at, um, he said the big question in the writers' room is: Is Liza a liar or is she a person who's lying? I can think of person who's lying. Obviously, yeah, but yeah. that but they're trying to navigate and negotiate that in her character development in every moment because right. it's such a dice, you know, it's such a fine line that yeah. towing this very yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then also, I love that Diana. I mean, I she's like, like you're the boss, and yes, you're scary, but you, the mentorship you're kind of becoming more friend like. Well, I I definitely think girls. that more and more Diana. You're there for Diana a lot, and definitely in this season. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, uh, we have some really wonderful that, moments. Yeah, and I think that Diana feels such a kinship with her, and she's, it sort of confuses her, though, because she doesn't know. She just really is drawn to her, and she's not 100% sure why. There's this other thing that she can't put her finger on, which is that you really do have yes. understanding of where Diana is coming from, you know, in a way that only someone who's kind of gone through right. what you went through can have. So, you know, it's a... 
she really feels for you, and then she gets self-involved and asks you to get her coffee. And right. Like, right. <laughs> right. So there's that. There's that aspect too. Yeah. You it's guys. Not a perfect friendship. It's our last call for questions right now on Facebook. So make this one count and leave it in the comment section below because we're gonna actually get to all the live questions in just a little bit, and then we're gonna put my um, reading skills to the test. Oh and boy. That's scary for everybody. I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, we have uh, a lot to get to. I want to get to like the nitty gritty behind the scenes with you yeah. guys. Um, but first, we have a little package. Another little man on the street oh. package. Yeah, because I'm like busy. I'm you like, are. The streets like a prosty. I love it. Talk to people, you guys. Uh -oh. They don't usually have microphones, the do they? Just I don't know. I'm not out there. Let's go to package, Drop something. Guys. Okay. So who do you want to be? A uh, bookworm with a slutty streak. Workaholic hipster. Ooh, I know, I know, I know. Maybe you're a feisty blonde who doesn't call her friends back. What would your online profile be? A workaholic hipster, a bookworm with a slutty streak, or a feisty blonde who doesn't call her friends back? Huh, maybe a feisty blonde is a call her friends back. Because it gets to be nasty and naughty, and you get places like that. Slutty. I, I think yeah. it's cool to be slutty, quite yeah, frankly. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's 2017. <laughs> we could be slutty. Bookworm with a slutty streak. Hemingway wrote love letters to Marlena Dietrich? Yeah, that's that's the 1950s version of sexting. Yes. So what's the last thing you sexted? Oh it's always a dick pic, right? <laughs> <laughs> a picture of my, um, yeah. Hope you're always NND, never not dripping. Huh? And I'm not, I'm not 26. I'm gonna be 41 in a few weeks. Fess up, what's the biggest lie you've ever told? I told someone I loved them when they didn't. What? You know what, I don't lie a lot. I try not to. I try. I to believe be you. But that might be just now the biggest lie that I've ever told. That's where you went wrong. You are who your last 10 search results say you are. You are your last 10 search results. Pull out your phone and read them to me. I'm okay. not psychologically sad. It said Debbie Mazar. And yes, I looked up <laughs> Debbie Mazar. Because <laughs> I couldn't remember what the name of her cooking show was. You should win a prize. Her. We have no prizes, but Thank if we you. did, you should win one. I want her to come and cook for me. That would be my prize. Oh, oh you searched how to date Nico Tortorella. Uh huh? Oh, I have a question. I'm sure, there's some really interesting results on that one. You guys. Yeah, the fans love you, really. I'll Thank you so you. much for joining us tonight, guys. You've been so, so, so great. Yeah. I'm telling you, though, yeah. that first that, that first episode needed it, like a two drink minimum. <laughs> I have to ask you, how many more um, drinks do we need for the subsequent episodes? Oh, Just get oh, the bottle. Get the bottle. Just the bottle. It increases every, every week. Yeah, maybe yeah. a yeah. shebang. Maybe a case yeah. for the season. Yeah. The weed, maybe. The of a heart. Of, of a little vape pen yeah, going. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Whatever I need to get through. Is there anything you guys can tell us that's going to happen in the season? Any any little bit of a teaser? You guys have been pretty tight. We get to work together. Today. You we talk oh, yeah. to each other and things happen. Something Literally gets weird. Like, something gets weird with yogurt. <laughs> something gets, something <laughs> gets <laughs> weird with yogurt. Something gets weird with yogurt. Hashtag weird with yogurt. There's a yogurt scene. Nudity, some yogurt. I think Lauren's involved in that. There, no, oh. I'm involved in a penis storyline. A penis storyline. Yeah, yeah, get ready. That feels get like ready. subdued for you in some way. <laughs> <laughs> <That's kind of laughs> right. It's subdued until uh, there's also some other people in this room involved in it. Her? Her. Her. Okay. Her. Her. Impression uh -oh. scratch. Will you guys? Irish shamrocks yes, that always yeah. after <laughs> me like your charms. And also, I hear that you are a huge prankster on set. Me? Who? What? Yes. I'm not. True. Not no, true. who yes. told you that? Oh, no, I, I heard through the grapevine. This oh, is. Yeah. Yeah. You? I think you have it wrong. Stop this it. is. What was the last prank you pulled? Hillary Dog Duff is the prankster. Hillary, Hillary Dog Duff? Duff. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary Dog. I'm always jumping out scaring somebody or. Yeah. What do I do to she you? She unlocks the my Hillary's knees. Have eyes? Yeah. She unlocks my the knees. The Hillary's have eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I basically <laughs> sibling Molly because she didn't have a sibling, so I have to be the one to like. Dancing so it's it's tank. Tank. AKA bully. Yeah. It's, it's, it's more like a little thing. <laughs> it's more little things. Like you know when you go up to someone and you and you break their knees from behind, like you. Yes. Not, really, not, not like, like Nancy Harrigan. Yeah. <laughs> like Nancy swipe, swipe, swipe like, the leg. No wait. Let's go Harding. No, no, no. You just go up to them and you kind of like make. In the back. And they fall down. Yeah. She likes it. She likes it. Oh, that's that's season five. No, that could be next. Oh, that's next. I'm trying to think. Well, who told you Molly was the prankster? Yeah. Uh, the powers that be. And apparently the powers that be were wrong. Oh, 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 they might be thinking, okay, so the last one, my last day on set, I got there early to 
say hi to Hillary and what? Did, oh, I pretended to touch her up. I like and that kid. Oh yeah, that was probably oh, okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. That yeah. may that might be what some people are thinking about. I got you. But I like came on set with Cynthia, her hair person or our hair person, and I was like, oh, I had Annette's makeup brush, and I was like, I'm here. And, and I was like, no, no, no. Maybe if Deb came to touch up. me up, I would say okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah. You yeah, almost cut my hair the other day. Remember that? I know, and then you shooed me away like a fly. You shmooed me. Well, okay, guys, so real quick, we do have a lot of Facebook questions coming in, so just real quick, we're going to answer some of them. Okay. Okay, so Sheila Sands, best kisser. Ugh, Josh or Charles. This Debbie. question keeps coming up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? Debbie? Okay, there just, we go. That came right out. Oops. <laughs> No, Sun's not answering. No, I'm she can't. You can't. She can't. Seems like you a, can't. a hard no from Foster. Do you Vince want Foster. a reminder Sun, Sun here? Sun Foster is the best kisser. Oh, yes, a reminder. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Yes. I don't need to be reminded. Oh, I remember Oh, I would like fondly. a reminder. That there would be she great. Is. Um, there no, she no, is. no, no. I, that's impossible to say. Yeah. I know. I, I mean, I, know. I have a really that's hard job. Shit. Been there, done that. I know. Okay, guys. Uh, do Diana and Richard get married? Um, oh, I don't think I can answer that question. Things get interesting. Uh, I really love where that storyline goes, though. Okay. I'm really proud yeah. of it. Okay. Yeah, there's guess. a stepchild involved. That's a good hint. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and there's some interesting things that he brings in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I learned some weird. things. Oh, really? How so? Yeah. How old oh. is he? Can't tell Teen. Can't He's tell young. He's going through puberty. There's things yeah. happening. That <laughs> I, there's yeah. a moment where I, some, I take something in hand that I don't ever want to again. He's a teenager. Yeah. Huh. Puberty, oh, puberty. you got that. I got it. Like I think I got like it. Okay. I think I got it. Yeah. Uh, you guys, good. okay, how many pairs of shoes does Diana own? Because that clock is would something you special. First of all, why would you count? Although she probably like counted, cataloged. Yeah. She has like the Dewey Decimal System for her shoes. I'm going to say 200. 200? That's a yeah. guesstimate. Yeah. What do you think, Christian Louboutin, Brian Atwood, Manola Blahnik? Yeah, all, yes, please. Yes, all, all of, of the above. above. All of the above. Okay, guys, and will Josh get back with Liza? Oh, that's the question. That's the show, right? That is literally the, show, the question. Right? Like, hey, can you just the ruin the entire season? I think yeah. I can't answer that. One? There is space in each other's lives for them to live. Okay, Ooh. I'll take it. You guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. I really love you and appreciate you. It's been a long week for you guys. It is very hot. I am schwitzing. My nipple popped out three times. Oh. But you know what? That made the show good. Like, that's actually, I, I was required to do it. It's in my contract. Uh, you guys, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for uh, watching live and for um, engaging with us, Instagramming and tweeting and snapping and Facebook guys. commenting and loving them you. and love keep you. showing them that love on social media. Really, it's everything. And you guys, uh, we'll be here every Wednesday right after Younger Woo! to uh, delve in. So uh, right. we've only just begun. You guys, thank you so much we've and have a great just Wednesday. Begun. Thank you guys. Do you guys know how hard it is to not pee when you're sitting on a toilet? Like, how loud does she? Hair dryer going. <laughs> you look nice. Yeah, so do you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, so do you. Good. So do you. Yeah. Boob's gonna fall out any moment. Do you know where Kelsey is living? No, I I don't. Do you? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Here we go. <laughs> like, I'm like. <laughs> I feel like I'm the oldest person in the room. You sure? me, come on. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my phone just died. Will you Uber me? Yeah, Uber. Just... What? <laughs> Uber me. Charles kissed me in minutes. <laughs> <laughs>